uh, there, there was a great paper that uh, Andy sent me called uh, Bain Digital Brief. Um, and, it, and one of the questions they asked was, um, do your executives get data on the organizational load that they create? So do executives get data on the load that they create for the people down here who should be creating value, creating wealth, um, delivering projects, selling trucks, whatever it is? Do these people get feedback on the amount of interference that they give everybody else, thereby slowing down the, 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 the very thing that they should be doing? And uh, their data said, no, they don't. So they don't get feedback on the, on the executive, uh, the amount of executive uh, interference or the amount of things that, that are created by executives. So if some executive comes in one day and looks around the car park and discovers that four of the cars aren't reverse parked and stops the whole building. You know, it, it, it's this kind of, I saw something wrong so I need to fix it now kind of thing. And that's not what leadership's supposed to be about. Leadership's supposed to be about, we're gonna think about what we're gonna be doing in 12 months time because what we've got now is what we, what, what the strategy we did 12 months ago. So it's the, it, there's a kind of a micromanaging um, element to that. So um, if you, you know that if you feel good working in a team, then there's a, there's a chance that uh, productivity is high and there's a chance that interference and distractions are low. So you already know that, you can already score that. Um, and, so, and most people know what it's like to work in a high-performing team. Most people in construction know, uh, remember the good jobs and remember the bad jobs. And if so it, it's, you know, th these are the questions that you, can, that you could ask anyway. There was one thing that I saw um, in a, in a, in a, a document, uh, an invitation to tender for a document, and the client, the client who's a famous client, I won't say who it is, was saying it's paramount that, that, we, re that we, you know, um, don't have any kind of high stress levels within our organization because because we care about the wellness of our people and the wellness of our people is is, is, is paramount to the success of, of our business and so we're going to have monthly uh, wellness um, um, lectures and uh, you're going to be eating oranges and apples and exercising and those things are great and I think that's 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 absolutely you know the right thing to do being healthy is good yeah you've got me on that one um, However, the two biggest stresses in the workplace are meetings and emails. Um, organizations are saying wellness and stress levels are, are important to us whilst presiding over 200 email a day organizations. So there's, a, there's an incongruency there um, that somebody needs to kind of pass some feedback up. I thought you, you know, hang on a minute, I thought we cared about wellness and stress is a, is a, is a you know, massive and contributed to that, and we don't. We, we could do with less meetings, and we could do with less emails. Hey, let's do something about that. Yeah, uh, we've been talking about that for as long as I can remember. One of the things uh, that we never talked about in 1969 were emails, and uh, the, the, in, back then, yeah, Phil's laughing. So, and in the 70s, you had to plan jobs um, so well um, that you could do them. Uh, because you couldn't go to site and then ring somebody up because you know, there was a phone was way back in you know the depot. That's where the phone was. So I mean there were times where uh, where where somebody would scream out of the compound and come back with wood, you know, and then uh, and then there'd be a conversation and a lot of shouting and then they'd scream out of the com uh, out of the compound and then come back with nails, you know. <laughs> So they're, they're, they're obviously we, uh, you know, we did get things wrong, but uh, it feels to me as if we were much better at planning uh, before there was communication. Um, the, the planning seems to have kind of taken a back step because communication is so just kind of open and, and uh, out there um, for everybody. A lot of people say safety is very important, and uh, it, it is, yeah? So creating a safe workplace is, a, is very important. And uh, I don't want to get I don't want to get hurt on any of your in any of your uh, workplaces. Um, however, um, it it appears to me that due process is more important than safety, because an awful lot of silly things happen under the under the uh, title of safety, and uh, it, it it looks like due process is more important than creating a safe place for people to work. And you can look at a number of um, um, safety. Um, strategies and safety processes and you can and you can just visit the site and have a look around and go hang on a minute there seems to be this kind of this thing going on over here but there's the reality of the situation isn't the same as the, as the thing that's being reported so 
it's an unintended consequence. Nobody wants to create a workplace that's unsafe. But due process um, does seem to take priority over the actual genuine creation of a safe place for people to work.